So it looks like the vinegar did a pretty good job of taking off all that fire scale. So now I'm going to start putting in the uh, edge bevel with my uh, file. This is a single cut mill bastard file. It feels like the uh, annealing worked. So yeah, the file is taking off good chunks of metal there. Yeah, you can see how the file is already getting gummed up after just a couple of couple of passes. So now I'm going to kind of clean up the uh, this fire scale on here. I want to leave the uh, kind of black in the indents there where I cut the cut the pattern. And I think that'll look kind of cool, so let's clean that up a bit. So for the handle of my Scramus X, I've got this piece of a caribou antler. This is something that my uncle salvaged off of a taxidermy mount that was getting thrown away, and he salvaged a couple of pieces of antler. So I thought this would uh, not only look pretty good on there, but it would also be kind of a fitting handle material for a Viking Age knife since uh, in northern Norway and Finland they've got the uh, the reindeer there. So what I'm going to do right now is just uh, drill out the uh, center of the antler there to fit it to the tang. One nice thing about doing this by hand, especially since this antler is so soft compared to wood, is that I have a lot more uh, control over it. Okay, so you can see how far the tang fits into the antler. So what, I, what I'm going to try to do now is heat up that tang and burn it into the into the antler for uh, a better fit. So to finish the fit here on the knife handle, I got some real fine files and I'm kind of just expanding that uh, mouth there so that the ricasso area will fit a little bit better and it'll seat more deeply into the antler. So I've got the tang fitted into the antler nicely, that's how that's looking. And um, on the top and bottom of the antler piece, I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of copper on there. This is a, a collar for like plumbing or something like that. And uh, so I'm going to have kind of a cap on the pommel, and then also a bit of copper on the top of the antler here, just to kind of protect the uh, protect it and also give it some uh, aesthetic flair. up the these kind of sharp corners with my file kind of just round everything off so I got my piece of copper here shaped up and there's how it uh, fits onto the bottom of the uh, of the handle so now I'm going to drill a couple of holes there so that um, I got a piece of brass rod that I'm going to use to secure the copper to the handle. Okay, so I've got the holes drilled into my piece of copper, so now I'm going to mark on the antler where the holes are going to go. So 
for the piece of copper that's going on top of the handle there, I have to drill a hole out where the tang is going to go. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of uh, copper that are going to go on the on the bottom of the antler, and then also on the top here. So you can see how that'll that'll fit on there like that, and then this one will fit on the bottom. And I've got my pieces of brass cut out to uh, fit that together. But before I glue this whole thing up, I'm going to clean up the blade of the knife. Just kind of give it a final uh, polish. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, JB weld the handle onto the tang. Okay, so here's what the finished scrammer sax looks like. The uh, JB Weld uh, set successfully, so that blade is locked in there. There's no way it's coming out. But uh, overall, I'm real happy with the way this knife turned out. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of touching up on the, uh, the fittings here where the, the brass fits into the, the antler there because it's, it's not a perfect fit right now, so I'll touch that up with my files. I won't bore you with a video of that. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I really like the way the, that antler swells there at the at the back, so that way when you're gripping it for like uh, cutting or chopping, slashing, it really kind of helps lock in the blade, fills the hand nicely, um, and keeps it from coming out of your hand. So from what I understand of uh, scrammer saxes like these, uh, historians speculate that they were really only used for cutting, slashing, chopping, because there wasn't any sort of guard on most of the fines, so you know, in a thrust attack it'd be very easy for your hand to slip up on the blade and cut yourself. But for a backup knife, utility knife, um, and kind of last ditch self-defense weapon, this would be uh, a pretty formidable tool. I'm sure you guys can expect to see this in some of my short films. I did leave this dull so it's safe for use as a movie prop without risking the lives of uh, my actors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.